Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Hoppy Vault. Today we're gonna do a quick little video about how you want to go ahead and get prepared to prime your pieces. As you can see, here is an alligator clamp at the end of a skewer, and here is a foam block that you're going to be using to go ahead and put all your pieces on so that you can prime them. Um, that is if you're gonna use an airbrush to prime or if you're going to use um, a, a spray can primer, any way that you need to do it. So that's gonna be necessary. So I got this kit off of Amazon. Um, it's much cheaper than you can go ahead and get it from any hobby store. So I'm gonna show you how to put them together. It's gonna look like this when it's done. And uh, it's, it's fairly strong, it's fairly, it, it's, it's good. So yeah, uh, what you're gonna need, oh, it does come with these too, these uh, guards. I don't like them, because when you put pieces on them, you know, they get paint on them, it's just a pain in the butt. You just don't even wanna mess with it. So here's the alligator clamp pretty straightforward and it has these little tabs on it and you're gonna put it in the skewers which do come in the kit I'll leave the link in the description so that you can um, find this kit so it has a pretty good grip on it and you're gonna hold it here you're gonna grab um, these are actually jewelry pliers um, you can use any plier and you're just gonna hold it on there and you're gonna squeeze down on the tabs and then it's gonna give you um, a nice strong bond now what you want to do is like you can sit there and spend a lot of time trying to do it really really thorough but if you just go ahead and put it um, on the skewer and then put the pliers on and push down really really hard it's gonna stick um, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but the biggest thing is you want to make sure your parts aren't gonna fall off and then you just keep repeating that I'm pretty sure that this is a kit of uh, 50 of them but it's pretty straightforward um, and you know, you're gonna need these to be able to prime your pieces without a lot of issue. Pretty straightforward. As you can see, it requires a decent amount of pressure. As you can see, my nail polish there got nicked by it. Um, but yeah, you just pretty much, you just repeat this until you've finished all of them and then you can use the foam blocks to go ahead and put all of your skewers in and uh, separate your parts and different areas of your Gundam so that you don't absolutely, you know, end up mixing up your parts. So that's kind of why I get a bunch of these different kind of blocks. Um, I got these from a craft store. Um, I got them from Michaels actually. They're fairly cheap, but I, I got them in, in separate block forms so that you can separate them out rather than putting them on one giant thing. I have seen people who use big giant foams uh, like foam pads and they'll draw on the foam pad to go ahead and separate the parts but um yeah so let's see that now you will run into a couple that aren't absolutely perfect them being cheaper alligator clamps because you don't want to spend a fortune on them you'll see that the tabs are too close together and I'll just take the pliers and go ahead and move them out of the way to be able to fit the skewer and a lot of times some of these alligator clamps won't be absolutely straight. Not that it really matters, but if you just want everything to be straight, they're fairly soft so you can go ahead and move them uh, so, that you can, so that you can have them straight or the way that you want them to be. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, that's it. And then once all the skewers are put together, you just want to go ahead and grab your foam blocks and put them inside there. Uh, just like that and this is for a left leg I'm pretty sure here's the kit that I got so that you can see that I have multiples of them uh, I think it was $4.99 for this set but it's it's the way that I like to do them to go ahead and separate the whole Gundam completely apart so there is no chance to get it messed up and that's how you go ahead and prepare alligator clamps to prepare for a Gundam painting project or priming or whatever it is that you need to do it keeps you from touching your parts and it keeps them separate uh, so that you don't mix them up so that you don't mess up your paint scheme in the long scheme of things and yeah i hope this helped guys thanks a lot have a good day